What's up guys, Arif here, and today we're gonna to be setting up a watch folder for Adobe Media Encoder. Now, what is a watch folder? It sounds exactly like what it is. Adobe Media Encoder, when I set it to this path, is going to watch this folder, and anything that enters it is gonna be automatically rendered off and put out into the output folder. It's really simple. It's great for if you're doing big renders and you wanna do them overnight, or if you have a second computer like I have on this video here, uh, I want to set it so I can go from my primary computer to my server and just have the server render it off. That way, my main computer is still open for me to do more work. Now, as you can see here, I've already got Adobe Media Encoder open. But before we do anything with Adobe Media Encoder, we need to actually create the folder. So I've opened up this PC and I'm going to go to my Sputnik network drive. Now, why my network drive is because I want to be able to pass folders from one computer to the other. And this is where I just do it all in the network system for each computer has one drive dedicated to shareable access. So I've created a Sputnik video upload because it's going to be uploaded from all the other computers. Now we're going to set up two folders here. We're going to have one that's my normal 1080p. So let's make that 1080. And the other folder is going to be 720p and that's going to be for my daily chat talk show because that episode runs really long. Each episode is about 20 to 30 to 45 minutes. And at 1080p, those files can get exceptionally large. So I want to create a 720p folder. That way, the settings for this will be a lot lower. And therefore, the size of the file will also not be nearly as high. So now we've got our two folders here. Let's call that 1080p just for the sake of consistency. And now we can go to Adobe Media Encoder. So we want to set up a watch folder. So we're going to go File and then go Add Watch Folder. And it's going to bring up our normal documents, but we're going to come down to network. And we're going to say, you're going to watch this folder. And then we want to watch our 1080p folder. And then we're just going to say, select that folder. Okay. Now it is watching this folder. Now we have to put the settings for what we want it. Now coming over to our queue area, we can see we have our watch folder. And when we click on the tab, we see it's going to render H264 at a high bit rate and the output folder is going to be 1080p slash output. You know what? That's fine. I have no issues with that. You can click here and designate a separate output folder, but I'm actually okay with it being that, that pathing. So 1080p is just slash output. So match the highest bit rate. Uh, in most instances for my videos, that's actually exactly what I use. But if you are really anal about it, you can, you can change all these things, maximum depth, maximum render quality. I would definitely pick those two. Based on source, uh, oof, I'm actually going to change that. I want to keep that 1080p. I definitely want my frame rate to be 60. So we're going to change that to be 59.94. Okay, and then the aspect ratio, we're actually just going to keep it based on the source because most of everything is going to be 16 by 9, and I really doubt I'll ever have anything different. If this changes, I'll ever, I can just come back in here and change it to whatever I need it to be. But for the time being, we're just going to say base it on the source. TV standard, not a big issue. And then we have a little bit extra stuff here. So VBR one pass. Since it's going to be my server uh, running it, why not make it two passes? Who cares? It's not like we're having to do anything. Target bit rate is 10 megabits per second. Maximum bit rate. Uh, let's make, let's up the max to a, about 17. Let's make the max 17. We can just click it here. So one seven. Ooh. And let's go back up to here, back at custom. I guess hitting enter was not the greatest idea. So 17 there and our target is 10. So that looks good. And that should be everything that we need for this. So now we can save this preset actually if we want to. So we can save preset and we'll just load this up and we'll just say 1080p Adobe Media Encoder and we'll just call this Adobe Media Encoder Upload actually. And now we can finish configuring our file. Save publish settings, save effect settings, boom. There we go, we got everything that we need there. And that should be all that we need for the video under audio. I doubt you're going to have to really change anything here. This should all be pretty, pretty normal. 
multiplexing not of not something we have to worry about here captions i don't do that and then adobe cloud and stock and all that i don't use any of these you can upload directly to uh, facebook and vimeo and youtube i don't if i want to publish anything i do it manually uh, this is a good way to do things if you want to just do like quick game videos but if you're doing like tutorial content or review content you're going to want to upload it manually effects not something i use in my videos and that should be good so now when we click ok boom there it is so now we've set it up so that way our 1080p folder is going to be monitored so we'll just dump our projects in here and then the output will go so that's really it so let's take it for a test run here we are looking at Mir, which is my main PC. This is the PC I do all my editing on. And we're just going to pick one of my older videos that I haven't bothered to delete yet off the video cache. So we'll pick this Breakaway 1 video. And we're just going to go into our network and just transfer it over to Sputnik through the Windows Sharing app. Once it's up there, you'll see. Now it should be auto rendering, but I actually forgot to include the Adobe Premiere project file. So once we upload that file, now it will auto start rendering our video just as we have it set out in the timeline. And there you go. Just like that automatically, once the project file has been picked up, it will start to render off from the folder. It is a great way to offload a lot of your stress from your CPU or to just do something overnight. And you can be more productive in the day if you have to render off a video during that time. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video helped you. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. We are currently sitting at 900 subscribers and some change. I want to get to 1,000 subs before the end of April. Guys, please do hit that subscribe button. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I've been Arif. This has been another tutorial, and I will see all of you on the next video. Bye.